What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I said I was going to do this video a while ago actually, the 23andMe Ancestry Report. And I've been wanting to do it for a while and I don't know, I just got busy with school. So I haven't done it yet, but I remember today I got a like notification on my phone and I was like, oof, I should do a video on it like I said I would. So here we are. Uh, if you're new to my channel, my name is Aaron. I'm a first year medical student and I actually wanted to make this video because there are limitations to these tests guys. Before I begin, uh, we actually had a pretty big lecture in medical school about genetic testing, I guess, especially with the rise of 23andMe. So there are limitations to these tests. Um, I actually pulled up on their website to see, to show you guys what they have to say about it. And they say here that genetics is only part of the story. Uh, when it comes to your health and your traits, there's multiple factors that can affect your health. These include environment and your lifestyle and of course your genetics. Um, I'm also not going to be showing you guys what uh, like diseases I have predispositions to because I'm a little bit paranoid. You should not share these with anybody, especially your insurance company, uh, because they could charge you more or they could decide not to cover you because you have a condition and they shouldn't know about it beforehand. These genetic predispositions, so I looked at a few of my genetic predispositions and they only test for a few of the variants. So m diseases can have multiple genetic mutations, I, I guess I could call them, and they only test for the more likely ones. So just because the report says that you don't have a genetic predisposition doesn't mean you won't get it and just because it says that you do have a predisposition doesn't mean you will get it of course I would definitely follow like your own family history your own experience how you currently feel and if you have any any questions you should always go to a doctor you should always consult a genetic counselor if there are any questions all right now that that's out of the way let's get into it so I guess I'm gonna just start with the ancestry report uh, a lot of you guys, I have told you guys during my live streams, if you're, I like to do a lot of live streams guys, so make sure to subscribe and uh, hit the notification so you know when I do it. And my dad, as far as he knew, is we're French. So he had always been told his entire life that we were French. So that's kind of why I wanted to do this. Are we French? And we're not. Um, so we are definitely Spanish and Portuguese. That is the majority so as soon as you click on that you're gonna see your ancestry composition and then you can see your report right here so 36% Spanish and Portuguese I kind of expected that uh, I knew we were gonna be European and this is not very helpful let's go back let me see there's like a really good pie chart uh, it's not on this one maybe oh here we go ancestry composition this big one so we are largely European uh, I kind of expected that, like I said, 46% Southern, a little bit Northwestern, a little bit of Ashkenazi Jewish. Uh, that's kind of important because those are uh, some uh, ethnicities, I guess, that do have more diseases, I guess, if that's what you're interested in. And I'm actually a lot Native American. I don't know why this surprised me, actually. My mom told me that she is Native, but I just, I don't know, I guess just because of how I look, I didn't really expect it. Uh, but I am 33% Native American, which is awesome. I actually tried to trace back based on this report and some research, so I've done some research on what kind of Native American I, could, I am. And the latest or the farthest back I could trace was Anasazi, but there's still so many different uh, groups that fall under that category but I, that's the closest I got and I believe I'm part of the Anasazi uh, Native Americans and then a group from within that, that's as far as I could go. Uh, I'm, there's probably some way I can delve further. If you guys do know, please let me know. I would love to find out like how far back I could go. That would be awesome. And then I'm a little bit Sub-Saharan African. Everybody is. Um, and then just a few other things. Uh, what's really interesting, guys, is that the recent ancestry, they actually traced it back to Chihuahua, Mexico. That's where my parents came from. That's where my grandparents are from. So they literally were able to trace it all the way to Chihuahua. That's where we're from. So that's pretty surprising. That's pretty accurate. 
and I was actually impressed by how accurate they were. And then here they show more uh, just like culture and different ways. It's really good advertising. You can get Airbnb on here. I didn't see that previously, uh, but that's really cool. So that is very, um, I would call that very, that's a good report. They did good on that. And then you can see your Neanderthal ancestry. I saw this and it says I have 246 Neanderthal variants. So I'm less than 83% of 23andMe customers. But it says here that Neanderthal DNA is only less than 4%. So I mean, not a lot. It shows a few things less likely to sneeze after eating dark chocolate. Uh, I love dark chocolate. I, I don't know what that has anything to do with it, but that's interesting that they have that there, I guess. I don't know. All right, let's go back. And then what else can we look at? Uh, haplogroups, not gonna open those up. They're not very um, important, I guess. I guess more important to trace stuff farther back. Now let's go back to home and I'm gonna show you guys. So this is actually what I wanted to show you guys. The traits report is actually really fun. Uh, it's definitely not 100% accurate, but I really enjoyed reading through all of these because I don't know. It just seems so. It seems kind of cool that they that they're able to genetically know these things, I guess. So ability to mac match musical pitch. I'm okay, I guess. I don't know. 50/50. I would say I'm on the good side of that. Asparagus odor detection. Yes, I can smell asparagus. I do have little back hair, I think. I don't think I have a bald spot yet. Bitter taste, I can taste bitter. Uh, there's a few here that kind of surprised me. Bunions, kind of gross. I don't have dimples. Cilantro taste aversion. I love cilantro. Heck no. I love putting cilantro on my tacos. And I just love it on everything. It's so fresh. So wrong, 23 of me. But that's still cool that they have it on there. Likely no clap chin. I do, I do get dandruff though. So that's good. The earlobe type, it says detached. I think mine is attached. I don't really know what that means. Maybe it, it shows here if I click on it. Um, I guess... See, it says it's detached, but I can't really... I think I would call that wrong. I think it's attached. My dad and my little sister definitely have detached earlobes, I guess, if that's something, but uh, I don't. Early hair loss, I hope not. I do have wet earwax. This one was interesting, the eye color. Likely blue or green eyes. My eyes are green, so I thought that was kind of cool that they were able to see that, I guess. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm not really scared of heights, but I am scared of heights. Uh, fear of public speaking. I, I kind of hate public speaking. Uh, that's why I do YouTube videos because I'm not speaking to a public, although I kind of am. <laughs> I don't know, that's, that's interesting. Uh, finger length ratio, likely ring finger longer. Uh, and I think it means in relation to your index finger. So yes, it is definitely longer. Um, my ring finger is longer than my index finger. I think that's what they, I think that's what it means. Hold on, let's, let's delve into that one a little bit. If it loads. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's ring versus index finger. It says here. Uh, it says a lot about blah, blah. I don't want to like delve into this and, and like show you guys something that I don't want to show you guys. Um, and then there's a few other here. So photo bleaching. So my, all the men in my family, uh, their hair goes gray pretty young. So I kind of expect it. Uh, so that's, I think it's true, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, straight or wavy hair. I guess that's kind of a 50-50 though, right? Like hair thickness, I, my hair is pretty thick. I do like vanilla. I do have dark hair. Misophonia, average odds of hating chewing sounds. I kind of do, I don't really mind. Uh, likely bit, bitten more often. I wouldn't say I am. I think I'm bit less by mosquitoes than most people. Uh, and then these are the last ones, likely little baby hair. I have a little bit left here. Whenever they cut my hair, they, they show me, but I guess I don't, it's hard to tell here. Lighter skin. Less likely to have stretch marks. I do prefer salty. My big toe is, I don't know if it's long. I'm not going to show you guys my big toe. Uh, likely at least a little unibrow. Yes, I do have a unibrow. Uh, that's just <laughs> how I am. It says likely to wake up around 8.44. I guess I'm, I'm a pretty early waker. So I don't know if it's because I force myself, but I am a morning person. So that's not 
a thing. And then Widow's Peak, I think it has to do with like your hairline here, but I don't know if it's if it's like this way or if it's this way. Yeah, see, so Widow's Peak is down this, down like this. So I, I definitely do have that. Um, and that's basically what I wanted to show you guys, guys. What I wanted to show you all. Uh, it was very interesting. Shows a lot of DNA relatives and other things. The research question here are actually really easy and quick to answer, um, which I think is really good for their like website and data collection. Uh, but I definitely do want to stress with you guys with the health priest disposition, guys. Don't take this 100%. Uh, always consult a medical professional, a genetic counselor if you have questions. And tell me what you guys think. Uh, is that kind of what you guys were expecting? Uh, have you guys done it? Are you surprised by any results? Are you surprised by any of my results uh, for my old viewers? Um, let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys liked this. I hope it was a kind of quick little uh, fun video. I thought that was interesting. I was pretty excited to see my report. And I don't know. Pretty happy. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. It helps me a bunch. Like the video, that always helps me a bunch too, and leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you all. Bye.